Hey everyone, today we will discuss a classic question in the audio industry, which are better forum speakers or atom speakers. We have encountered some customers who prefer atom speakers because they believe that forum speakers have too low of an impedance for their amplifiers. They express concerns about the influence of back electromotive force and feel that atom speakers are easier to drive with an amplifier, whereas forum speakers may be more challenging to power. Consequently, many people assume that atom speakers must sound better than forum speakers. Of course, many people hold opposing views on this issue. Let's discuss Aperion Audio's perspective on the topic. For your reference, you are encouraged to share your thoughts in the comments section. Number 1. Common Misunderstandings about speaker impedance. 8 Omega speakers provide better sound quality than 4 Omega speakers, or vice versa. Answer. Sound quality is not directly related to impedance. It depends on factors such as speaker design and crossover adjustment. Some high-end speakers are designed to be for Omega to optimize sensitivity or frequency response, while 8 Omega speakers also can offer top-level sound quality. Misunderstanding 2. 8 Omega speakers are more power efficient. Answer. A speaker's actual power consumption depends on the playback volume. For ohm speakers can be more efficient at the same volume because the amplifier outputs more current at a lower voltage. However, when fully loaded, 4 Omega speakers may consume more total power than 8 Omega ones. Misunderstanding 3. Impedance mismatch will damage the amplifier. Answer. As long as the amplifier supports the nominal speaker impedance, such as 48 Omega, and is not overloaded, it generally will not be damaged. However, dangerous situations arise if you use a 4 Omega amplifier to drive an 8 Ohm speaker resulting in insufficient power, or an 8 Omega amplifier to drive a 4 Omega speaker with overload leading to overheating. Ultimately, there is no absolute distinction between the quality of 4 Omega and 8 Omega speakers. The most critical factors are matching the amplifier's performance with the speakers and considering the requirements of your specific usage scenario. Number 2. Many people are concerned that 4 Omega speakers are challenging to drive with amplifiers. First, it's essential to understand that there are industry standard requirements for speaker impedance. Speaker impedance. Standards. The impedance of 8, Omega and 4 Ohm speakers is equivalent to resistance. While a 4 Omega speaker does exhibit back electromotive force, an 8 Omega speaker does as well. But the effects may vary based on specific conditions. It's essential to understand the speaker industry standards regarding impedance. According to these standards, a speaker's minimum impedance cannot be lower than 80% of its rated impedance. This means that the minimum impedance for an 8 ohm speaker is 6.4 omega and for a 4 omega speaker it is 3.2 omega most power amplifiers on the market can effectively drive speakers with an impedance above 3 ohm however when a speaker's minimum impedance drops below 2 to 2.5 omega most amplifiers struggle to operate correctly leading to potential short circuit issues number three why are many hi-fi speakers rated 8 omega instead of 4 omega the amplifier's output power and the speaker's maximum sensitivity are the main reasons. But why does this relate to the amplifier? It's simple speakers need an amplifier to produce sound. Therefore, when comparing 8 Omega and 4 Omega speakers, it's essential to consider the amplifier you will use with them. We assume that the specifications of a two-channel amplifier are as follows. 160 watts RMS per channel at 8 OEMs. Frequency response of 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz total harmonic distortion thd 0.1 percent 250 watts rms per channel at 4 ohms measured at 1 kilohertz total harmonic distortion thd 0.1 percent the amplifier delivers different power outputs at 8 ohms compared to 4 ohms typically the power output at 4 ohms is significantly higher than at 8 ohms let's consider an example if a speaker has a sensitivity of 86 decibels at both 8 ohms and 4 ohms, we can calculate the difference in maximum sound pressure level SPL after adding the amplifier. The formula for maximum power calculation is max SPL equals 10 log 10 amplifier power 
in watts, plus speaker sensitivity, SPL in dB. 8 ohms, 10 log 160 watt plus 86 decibels equals 22 plus 86 equals 108 decibel. For OEMs, 10 log 250 watt plus 86 decibel equals 24 plus 86 equals 110 decibel. Thus, the maximum SPL for the speaker would be 108 decibels at 8 OHMs and 110 decibels at 4 OHMs. It is clear that a speaker's higher total impedance results in lower maximum sensitivity and reduced sound output. When the sound volume decreases, it becomes more challenging to notice flaws in the speaker's sound background noise from the amplifier, and other undesirable factors. Additionally, many speakers on the market neglect to address impedance issues in their design, focusing primarily on achieving a flat frequency response curve. As a result, they often fail to meet industry standards. One can observe significant dips when measuring the impedance curve alone, with some measurements dropping well below the required 80%. Atom speakers are generally acceptable since their impedance remains sufficiently high, typically not falling below 3 ohms. However, forum speakers can pose a serious risk. If their design is flawed, the impedance can drop below 2.5 OEMs, which may cause problems for amplifiers that lack sufficient load capacity, rendering them unable to function correctly. In other words, designing and producing 4 ohm speakers is generally more challenging than Atom speakers. For a long time. This has led many people to believe that Atom speakers are easy to drive while Forum speakers are difficult to drive. This is the reason. This video is a bit long. We will cover the rest in the next video. That's all for this time. We hope you have a great time. Welcome to our Epirian University series. Here, we will introduce you to basic acoustics knowledge. We hope it will help you. If you like it, please follow us.